And James speaks Italian. A quick message in Italian to James. Ciao James. Ciao. <laughs> Un grandissimo Ciao, bacio. Ciao Marco, tu sai che, posto meraviglioso. che anche Marian parla <laughs> italiano. <laughs> sì, sì, ah, veramente parlo, però non voglio parlare adesso. Siamo un canale inglese. <laughs> no, she speaks very well Italian. <laughs> Better than me. <laughs> well, if Marco's looking for someone to duet with, Marian there, with her Italian, is ready to sing Due Vita in Liverpool on Saturday, a late entry. Do stay with us here on BBC News. Hello there. Well, it's been a day of sunny spells and some heavy showers. Certainly the skies look very dark and threatening here in Ashbourne in Derbyshire with a big shower cloud working across the horizon. And we have seen showers widely across the UK today. But most of the day's thunderstorms have tended to concentrate across East Scotland, central and eastern parts of England as well. Now it's been another wet month uh, so far across parts of southern England. We've already had more than the average for May. That makes it the third consecutive month in a row that's been wetter than normal. And across uh, parts of northern Scotland, like the last couple of months, it's been drier than normal across the north of the UK. Now, during this evening and overnight, the area of low pressure responsible for the showers slips into Northern Ireland. So there will be further showers here, one or two keeping going across western parts of England and Wales. But otherwise, most of the day's showers will fade away and we'll have some clear spells overnight. Temperatures for most between 6 and 8 degrees. Tomorrow, another showery day. Those showers with us straight away in Northern Ireland. Now, elsewhere, you'll manage a bit of morning sunshine before those showers really get going across East Scotland, Eastern England. Once they've developed here during the early afternoon, they'll tend to move inland, leaving some of the biggest downpours later in the afternoon across Wales and the Midlands as well. Temperatures generally reaching about 15 to 18 degrees. When we have some sunshine, it won't feel too bad. Friday does see some weather changes as this area of high pressure builds into the northwest. This area of low pressure pushes a weather front into eastern areas. So, northeasterly winds are changing the wind direction, bringing a lot more in the way of cloud, perhaps some more early morning mist patches as well. The thickest cloud for eastern and central England, thick enough to bring some light outbreaks of uh, rain as we go through the day. Eastern areas, chilly, temperatures around 13 or 14 degrees, but where we do have some sunshine in the west, Temperatures high teens might even squeeze out to 20 in one or two areas. The weekend, well, we still have that high pressure to start off with, but then for the second half of the weekend, this cold front is going to very gradually push a band of rain into the northwest. So for most of us, Saturday's a decent day. Could be a few showers around, but most dry with some sunshine, and we could see temperatures reach the low 20s. It's on Sunday that more of us will see outbreaks of rain developing, and it'll turn a bit cooler.